What is up guys? Welcome back here to another Infinite Galaxy content. Today, I want to share some big news to you guys. Since I've already finished my Command Center 30, as you guys remember in the previous video, I have also able to unlock my T10 as well. This is my T10 Destroyer. I'm very excited because I've been battling on the Galaxy Summit and some of the players just have T10. It was just really very difficult when you have T9. So I did a level four on the Fortified Destroyer. I think you only need three. And I think you technically only need one of these to unlock the, you know, the T10. I don't really remember the prerequisite. Maybe we can look into it. So you only need level one of the Fortified Forget Shield. And then for the Fortified Forget Shield, you only need level one of the Fortify Forget Defense. So you only really need one one. I don't know why I wasted some plasma there just to unlock it. But we do need to increase the, you know, the stats of these as well. But I'm not going to do that yet. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be spamming a lot of of worship so remember when i talked about in the previous video about the hope of resistance this is actually a very good event so currently i'm only ranked eight and i haven't even really done any of my um any of my you know warship building as you can see i've only generated about 300k power majority was actually from crew some flagship and i haven't done any you know flagship uh, outfitting yet either so as i'm trying to get into t10 now you know, from T9, it is a laser, right? So as I'm going to T10, I'm going for missile. So I need to just kind of switch around my my gear, right? So that's that's the challenge part about that one I'm going to go through. So we're going to make some ships in here. One thing that I want to mention before we get started, you guys need to understand that I have my crew formation set in here. This is my crew formation for warship building and going to the technology. I don't know if you guys can see this right here. This is also going to help you guys out. Watch it build. So we got Molly Mayer, Key, key Factor, Robbie Sonny, Nicholas, Key Factor, and then I think it's LeBlanc's. Yep, LeBlanc's. So those three crew are very important whenever you're doing some massive, um, massive, massive production of warships. Go into the core module as well. And within the core module, you're going to be able to see that there is warship build speed in here. And then there is another one, warship build speed in here. Now, our alliance do not have any warship build speed buff. So that's kind of like unfortunate. Um, but you also can take a look into the spaceport details. Um, look into the warship build right here is 110.4%. So, so I want you to comment in the comment section below, what is your warship build you know, speed. So, ooh, server update, 6 UTC. Um, we've got 20 minutes to really push this. Wow, very interesting. So, well, we're going to push a little bit in here and then we're going to push a little bit more later, All right. So for now, I'm going to be using my speed ups in here. So this is the accumulation of speed ups that I have currently with my shipbuilding speed ups. One thing I love about this feature in here is this, one tap speed, all right? So we can just do the one tap speed, boom. Right, I have, I have, uh, you know, destroyers right away like that. So we've accumulated a lot of resources as well. You guys can see we have seven million resources in here. So let's just keep on going at it. So we're less than a hundred warship right now. All right, I love this. This is easy. And then later we're gonna definitely be using our corium. So we're just gonna be corium. We're gonna be using corium to make more ships because I wanna, I wanna be able to build like two. Uh, two major fleets of this destroyer. So when I get knocked out, you know, in the Galaxy Summit, I'll have backup ships, right? And coming into the NVN, as we've talked about in the previous video, we got to be ready. We got to be ready having a lot of, you know, warship for battle. All right. So I'm just going to keep spamming into that. So I don't know how much points I have already just by doing a few of those. So let's take a look into the rankings. So I'm currently ranked fifth. So Lucy already went to 3 million. Wow. So I am going to be competing because this is my time to shine to make a lot of warships. So this is something that I am looking forward to do. We have, you know, we have good amount of speed ups. I think we have a decent amount of, well, we have a lot of the five minute ones in here, guys. So, um, server maintenance jam it's always at this time but we gotta make a few in here all right and then i think yeah definitely gotta record um you know when we do corium so i'll give you guys some tips all right if we're gonna do corium which the whales are gonna be doing when you do your corium make sure you have your resources so that you don't spend so much corium 
you know, you don't want to be buying us so much resources. So make sure you still have farm accounts, right? To supply you with resources. Or if not, ask for help. Ask for help from friends, right? They will help you. So I'm producing nine warships of destroyers for 10 hours. Not bad. So if I didn't set up my crew perfectly, it was actually 12 hours, all right? So extra two hours, or I could say I knocked out two hours by putting the right crew. So we got, man, 6.8 million. We've already hit 261 right now. So maybe once we hit 500, we can take a break and then probably do some more tomorrow. Um, but definitely we're building T-10 destroyers, missile type. So my mention is previously, we're going to be doing a Hades and Poseidon. So I'm going to be working towards that. I'm not going to go for Odysseus anymore. I really like the um, tank ability of Poseidon. Now, the big thing about that is also I'm going to lose a little bit more of the leadership from Odysseus, but it's okay because my ships are going to be hella, hella tanky. And that's where I'm going to be looking forward to, you know, to setting up my next build anyway. So as you guys can see, we ran out of, you know, um, titanium in here. So we're running low. So what I'm going to do is going to still click build, but I'm not going to be buying it on Corium. I'm going to be having to open this up in here. And we have a lot of resources. I mean, see that? That's absolutely insane. That's crazy. Wow, this is absolutely very annoying. This, uh, it doesn't stop. It doesn't just tell you like once. All right, so I'm going to build 500 because that pop-up thing is kind of like, whoo, very narcissistic. Is that even the right term? I don't even know. Very annoying, I would say. That's kind of annoying that it keeps popping up without without a break. Like they should probably do it like every five minutes from from the first publish. I, I, but I guess it, they have to really notify it. But, you know, in-game mail would also work. But hey, you know what? I'm glad that they're notifying us because at least we know what's happening. Like if there's battles or there's war. Right, that would be insane if there's no notification. So don't just go ham into this and spam too quick because you might be running through your resources. And if you have backup resources in the bag, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to lose that opportunity to, you know, use it. So as you guys can see, we're just building a bunch of warships in here today, getting to prepare. So we made 500, 500 of that. All right, let's take a look into. Um, to the event right now events hope of resistance and we're now ranked third all right so another set of 500 we a thousand probably be in the first by then but we still got to push it up because i want to that my whole goal right now is to really build 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 right man i'm never getting any like plasma or nickel from this do you guys even get any luck all right guys for now, this should be fine. Wake up again tomorrow. Produce more warship. You know, we gotta just spam. We've got 500k, 500k corium. We we we're we're. I'm gonna go through this. I might not even be able to record every single push in here, but as you guys can see, we have now 549. Right, we're gonna go 600 and barely, really barely touching the the speed ups in here. We have so much speed ups right it's crazy so i'm gonna let this run through i'm gonna go finish this actually yeah let me go finish one more and since we're running out of like deuterium we got to open up some packs all right and then we're just gonna let it run for the night as i'm gonna go to bed by the time i wake up i'll get some you know some collection in there and then i'll have more all right so as you guys can see our plasma kind of went down different uh hopefully different shirt Different day to day. This is going to be the last day for the Hope of Resistance. So in this event, um, I did mention it in the previous video that this is something that you guys should compete. Since I cannot really upload this, you know, right before, I guess I could upload it right before it ends. But this is a great, you know, um, event to really participate in. And as you guys can see, I've increased my uh, my warship production in here. Now it's eleven. I think in the previous, uh, you know, previous clip in there it will be nine. The reason why it had changed, you know, I've changed a little bit of the crew in here. Um, one thing I didn't mention is that in the technology, you also have this ability to increase your warship Q leadership, all right, for your production. And I think I've also added a crew here, which is, I think, is it Karen? Yeah, Karen Bourne. Um, as you guys can see, we increased the spaceship building Q leadership limit as well. So Karen, is it Karen Barone? 
Karen Baroni. Barone. Weird name. But don't matter. So we're still going to be, you know, making uh, warships in here. So what I'm actually trying to do here, you know, competition comes in. Yeah, for that event. But honestly, at the end of the day, I just really want to build a full fleet of destroyers. So for me to build a full fleet of destroyers, let's take a look into my destroyers right now. I will need to make another 1743. All right. That's a lot. So I have about 3K in here, close to 3K. Uh, so about 2.7, 2.8k actually, 2.8k of these destroyers. So that's what I need to do. So I have about 8,858, you know, T9 destroyers. So that's kind of where I want to get myself into or more. So I am still going to continue to use my speed up in here. Um, what's nice about this is that I have not even gone through using any of my corium. So if somebody tries to push us for the event, since I'm already like here too deep into it, then I will definitely just push, you know, push out with my Corium. The best thing about this is that I have a significant amount of plasma. The plasma actually wasn't the plasma wasn't the limiting factor in here for me. I think the most limiting factor is going to be the speed ups, and then it's going to be the titanium and deuterium. The titanium and deuterium, quite a lot actually. I've already popped out a lot, but since we have been doing a lot of the relics, it's been really really nice because we have a lot of reserves. So as you can see, there we go. We are going through it again. And since we just did some, you know, I think we did some relics a day. We got a little bit more. Um, I'm going to pop using because I, I bought some packs in here as well. So the next thing that I'm going to run out is going to be, oh, actually, I still have 1.5 million of the titanium there. So, yeah, I, my, my goal is to really just have one big full fleet in here because it's going to help me out when it comes to the Galaxy Summit event. Um, I think I'm starting to go through my normal speed ups now. So yeah, I mean, that's the whole point of having all those speed ups, right? Um, let's take a look into the hope of resistance in here. And now we've reached into what is that? 5 million power points in here. So now we're 75 million power. So take a look into the top ranks in here. We're still rank 11. I still got to go push out 2 million in here. Actually need to push out 3 million to really get up to that to that ranks there trying to shove myself inside there um so i'm still definitely going to be pushing myself out in here so you know we're still using ship building i guess i ran out of uh five minutes now from my ship building speed ups so there's nothing else really to use your speed ups for besides doing this event um i could also wait and push up more into the galaxy star and make massive fleets there again and get some titan flagship blueprints in here so probably that's definitely an option but i'm want to you know maybe i'll make 1500 for now and then i'm just going to keep an eye on it um you know to maintain my position in here so let's let's push up a little bit more let's make 1500 in here um all right and then i'm gonna actually make some upgrades for you know use up my plasma as well since i realize now that the plasma it's not that much in here when you're building the ships. It's really going to be the limiting factor for majority of like the free-to-play players is is going to be, I would say, it, it is going to be the uh, speed ups, right? Because when you don't hoard enough speed ups, you're not going to be able to to really perform this um, what I'm doing right now. So the reason why I have this is not just because of, actually I don't really purchase speed ups. Um, recently I did because in preparation for this but majority of them are like banked up from like doing the the relics doing the uh, alien stuff so all that really coming from like events and stuff right um all right so t10 i'm super excited having you know a full fleet of t10 i'm halfway there i'm halfway there but i think it's not reasonable anymore to really push so much ships if i can win this and i can win another event so that's what I'm going to be doing. So we'll have 1500 right now. So we'll keep it that way. So this is pretty much my kind of like summary of total what I've done. About 4 million warship build. A few on the tech and few in the crew. And a little bit on the flagship. So total boosted so far. Right. Anyway, my intergalactic friends. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys find something very helpful and very fruitful from this video. Good luck to you guys. On to the next power up again. I'll see you again next time.